Well, welcome back to By George. Today I'm in Australia, in Melbourne, for the Sandown Classic Race Meeting. It's a beautiful day here, a bit overcast, but that at least means we won't get sunburned. Hundreds of cars, let's go and have a look around. Well, it wouldn't be By George if we didn't start by looking at MGs, and this is the new MG X Power 0 60 in 3.8 seconds. A very, very fast car. MG's been popular in Australia ever since they won the first Australian Grand Prix after World War II. The MGA looked beautiful in the sun, it's a lovely shape and always performs well. This is the MGSA that in 2013 drove from Paris to Peking. What a trip for it. MGTFs always loved, RV8 always popular, a BGT V8 and uh, we had all the mighty MGs here. This is a K3 replica and an MGA twin cam. There were lots of other cars there. Of course the Australian cars were very popular. This XU1 Holden looked very good and a display of military vehicles. Of course it was Anzac Day this day so it was a good to see the military vehicles out in force. I could make a joke about this being Australian Army's latest of cars but I won't. The Mini Club was there in force. Sandown's a beautiful track and as always there's always the food sellers and the people who sell accessories. There was a bookshop here that extracted a large quantity of money from me and I enjoyed spending it. The guy came down from Sydney. HQs are still very popular in Australia and there were quite a few of them still racing. I do wonder what happened to all the New Zealand ones. Perhaps they're over here now. This Datsun was beautifully done with a little supercharged four-cylinder engine. Um, a very, very, very clever pack of engineering to make all that work really well. And I watched it go and it did go really, really well. From sedan to, to vintage sports cars, all were racing at Sandown this weekend. And of course the pits are open so you can get in and look at things and see what's going on nice and close as well as hearing them on the trap and that's what makes it interesting I think is you can, you can see them on the track and in the garages. And yes I believe this is an original Shelby Daytona Coupe. John Olson from New Zealand did a lot of the aerodynamic work on making the coupe um, and a guy called Pete Brock did a lot of the modifications to the chassis. Ken Miles, good MG man, did a lot of the um, fine tuning on the chassis. Uh, of course, based uh, the Shelbys were based on the original little AC sports car from England. And I think this is Bob Hubro's McLaren 6MB. Uh, runs a 5.7 litre Chev engine, as I recall. Great looking car. Sounds fantastic. I'm not sure what the white car is, but the number 16 Elfin in the background, I think it's Peter Whitten's car. Lovely car it is. It's a 1979 XD Falcon Group C Touring Car. It's a 351 Cleveland motor by Blaze Performance. Uh, four speed Borg Warner transmission, T10. A nine inch diff, four wheel disc brakes on 16 by 10 alloy wheels. Another car is the rusty French um, Ford Coupe. Very popular cars in their day, very, very, very competitive. But there was a whole raft of these cars there. It was quite amazing to see them there. There was a, a Coca-Cola coupe there. And this is obviously the Alan Moffat um, dealer team car, uh, D-Type Jaguar. And, and of course, you can't have a meeting in Australia without a Brock Commodore. Supercharged MGTA, very nice car, went very well. Got to get the GoPro going properly. That's the most important thing. If you like this video, please tick like. Subscribe and share it with a friend. More videos at by George NZ. A good little lineup of single seaters here. Always, always good to see them out. They, they have a lot of fun with these cars, and they're not expensive to get and run. And that one's for sale. Really good spot to stand here as they come out of the pits. You can see there's escorts and all sorts of things. Really, this is a great way of just seeing a whole lot of cars very quickly. That little Austin A35. Holden Tirana, another Ford Escort. Certainly these uh, Escorts have gone up in value in my lifetime. Very old Holden there. One of the early ones, I would say. And, uh, and a Brock uh, Tirana. Not sure whether that's a genuine one or just a lookalike, but it certainly looks good. And, and there was a lot of good looking. There's our little Datsun, our little supercharged Datsun going well. And another elderly ho uh, Holden. But um, it's a great place to stand. You can see, see quite a lot. Uh, you know, especially through the pits. This is coming off the back straight. You'll recognize this from the, the V8s or the Sandown 500 or whatever. 
The cars exit Dandenong Corner and head down towards Turn 9. Chrysler Challenger going very well. Directly behind it we have the Mercedes-Benz 450 SLC, highly modified. The Toyota Celica follows behind. And here we have the Holden FX of Tony Ross. Right left onto the front straight and here we have the little Austin A35. Doing a great job at entertaining the crowd. Maybe not the quickest way onto the front straight, but certainly 10 points for style. A good run onto the front straight can make all the difference. Here we have a gaggle of MGs coming onto the front straight. The TR7 in the middle is about to get eaten up by the MG RV8. A run onto the front straight, as I say, can make a huge difference to the top speed of the car at the end of the straight. Never more true in saloon car racing, we have two Holden Commodores flat out on the front straight, heading down towards Turn 1. Plenty of modified MGs there too, there was a very good strong car club collection there. Uh, the ZR, very popular little race car, they go really really well, as opposed to Mr Wincup's car, which certainly didn't win any cups that day. And this poor little Anglia, I think it had a, a disagreement with some Armco, but uh, I think the Armco might have won. Well this looks like a bit of fun, it's a Model T Ford Special, entered by Rachel Brown. Great little engine, unfortunately they had trouble with, a, with the gearbox, you can see the gearboxes and bits here, but uh, it looked like it would have been a lot, lot of fun, I didn't see it run all day, but um, good on them for entering something just like that, it's a bit of, bit of a laugh, bit of fun, and that's what classic racing should be about. Here's standing on top of the garages, you've got a good view from up there, but wherever you were there was something to look at, something to see, even if you're just standing on the hill enjoying the view. Talking about V8 engines, you could enjoy the weekend. If you did enjoy the video, remember tick like, tick subscribe, more videos coming along very soon.